Hello, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create realistic floors in 3ds Max. The quickest way to generate floor tiles that you can easily customize or edit using a free plugin called the Floor Generator. All right, so um, to be able to get this Floor Generator, um, we go over to their website. I'm going to put the website in the description, okay, the cgsource.com slash floor generator you can see the free version the free version you're going to get only the standard running bond the standard floor pattern only but when you pay the paid version you can see you're going to see you're going to get all these other patterns okay so we just go ahead and download only the free version so after you download it you are going to see this all right which you then now copy to your version of 3ds max all right so when you are done installing it you can now head over to the 3ds max let's go ahead and create our floor tiles all right so to begin we're going to create a shape floor generator after you've downloaded it and installed it it works with shapes you come over to the create tab and then come over here you can use line okay you can use rectangle whatever you have to use to be able to cover the surface area you want to create your floor tiles for so you select this you select your snap i want to okay i want to do it you know cover this floor area with the floor tiles okay you can use your line and um, draw you know however you want it to be and then join it floor generator will very much work on this thing now back to what we were doing so let me turn off this thing to create your floor ties select the shape you just created you can see rectangle 001 is selected come over to the modify tab click on the modify list and then search floor generator okay that is one way to do it or you can save it in the button here and just click on it all right there's a video where i showed how you can create your own button if you have not seen that video please make sure to check it out so i'm gonna click floor generator now if you have been using floor generator before the previous settings you used with your floor generator is what is going to display otherwise it is going to be the default one that comes with floor generator if you are using the free version the floor pattern that is going to be available to you is just going to be the standard now i'm not using the free version so i have these other ones but don't worry this tutorial we're going to be using standard because this is what you're going to be using most of the times anyway so after the floor pattern after you have selected your floor pattern that you want to use the next thing you're going to set is the, the board size in this board size you see the max length you see the minimum length you see the spread you see the mass which we're going to be discussing what those things are in a jiffy the mass length is what determines the length of this your floor that you can make it 600 you see let me isolate this tile so that you can see exactly what we are doing you can make it 600 see what happens when i make it 600 you can make it one five see it's becoming wider you can make it 2000 let's return it to 2000 it was that before now the next thing we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the mass width this is the width of the floorboard if you make it 3000 let's make it 300 you see how fat it became you can make it 200 Okay, you just control the width. So you use this one to control the length and this one to control the width. Don't worry about this, this spread. And don't, I've tried using it when I just started using Flow Generator. It didn't really change. You can go ahead and change. You can put one there. I think the highest it can go to is one. You can put 0.5, whatever. It doesn't really matter. So just leave it as it is. The same for this spread here. So I'm just going to return it to 120. Okay, that's standard. Then the gra the the gra length is the. Let me show you something now. Let me put it in clay mode and add some add some edge to it. Okay, the gra length is the gap between these floorboards. We can come over here and make it one. You see, the gap just became tinier. We can make it four. You can see, you can make it five. If you make it ten, it's going to be wide very very wide as you can see make it 20 see how wide it is okay so 
let me just give it at four. It was that before. All right. So the, the other one is the minimum offset. Minimum offset is what determines where these divisions occur. All right. So if I should make it at 50, you can see they are meeting themselves halfway. The division is occurring halfway. All right. If I should, let me say it again. If I should make it, give it at zero. Now everything has matched. Okay. Everything is on the same line. Now this is, how you do it when you want to create a floor tile like 600 by 600 you can just come over here now and type in 600 and then type in 600 over here you have your floor tiles like the normal tiles you put in your house no this is not a, like a wooden floorboard now we're talking about ceramic tiles now okay so um that is not what i want us to create for this tutorial maybe we'll do something like that in future but for now let's just turn it to 2000 return this one to 120 and then return this other one here to 20%. Okay, that's just it. Now, the extrude is the thickness of your floorboard, of your um, floor tiles or floorboard, whatever. You can make the extrude 50. You see how thick it became. You can make it 10 like it was before. The bevel is this thing over here. You see this chamfer over here? That's the bevel. Okay, you can make it five. See how bevel you go. You make it one, the bevel reduced. Let me keep it here so you will notice it very well. Okay, so for five, you can see mm -hmm. this makes it more pronounced. When you add your bevel, you, the gap, the opening between the tiles becomes more pronounced. All right, we're going to start. I'm just showing you what each and every one of these things does very soon we're going to apply material to it you know, very quickly okay and it's very easy i'm going to show you another plugin that you're going to use another plugin from cg shows that you're going to use to be able to apply materials to this easily okay and if you cannot get that much it's a, it's a free plugin okay but if you if you don't want to use it like you don't have the maps to, that goes with it because the map that goes with it is a is a is a paid map from cg source okay it's a paid map but if you can't afford you know those maps maybe in a future tutorial i will show you how you can get those type of map from a normal map that you can download anywhere from the internet all right so moving on um this max rotation is another thing you can use but for you to see what it does, let's make the grad length very wide. Okay? Let's make it very wide. So I'm going to put it at zero. Okay, you can see that the floorboards are straight. As you can see. Now, when I come over there, the, the mass rotation, and put 50. You see what happened to it? It, you know, shifted, it rotated it a little bit. When I make it 100. Okay, you can see that the rotation now becomes more pronounced. But this is, this doesn't really show that much when your grad length is, you know, a little bit, is more like, like, like when I made it for. Okay, it is there, but it's not really that pronounced. Because, just be looking, when I, when I come over here and I make it zero, you see, there's a little bit of adjustment, but it's not really pronounced. So, just leave it at 100. Or don't add it at all because it's not even going to be that visible. All right. So other things here, minimum rotation, spread, all those things. You don't really need to adjust them. Okay. You may not notice the difference that they make. In general, that is where things get real again. So the scale is 100. You can scale it to make it bigger. You can scale it down. You can come over here at 100. Okay. Or 20. Okay. Let's take it back to 100. All right. You can change the direction, okay, the rotation, you can raise it up or down, that is in degrees, but well, let's make it zero, then the offset, you can move it around, like the location of, the location of these grouts and all that, you can come here and type 100, you see it moved, okay, type in 1000, it will be moving even in the y axis, it also moves, can make this 500 and it will move around okay in, probably when you're using all these other type of like say you're using herringbone or you're using parquet you might want to bring in the part where the tiles are joined in front of the camera this is how you do it you can come over here and move things around and they will come to where you want them to be all right so the uv settings is what this plugin used to map the 
the the materials you put on it okay so you don't have to use the uvw map over here to come and map it manually so once you have this plugin uh, applied to anything it is going to have its own uv mapping now let's go ahead and work on the material if you if you have come this far in this tutorial you can now create your own you know floorboard just like this one this standard basic you know floor slits you can do that now i will show you some tips and tricks that you can use to get a very realistic material on this all right not just to apply material to it so let's um start an interactive render okay that's the floorboard we just created you can see it has default corona material applied to your 3ds mass material applied to it now for us to be able to apply material to this thing we need this we need this type of material that are like narrow and long like this that's the number one thing we need and then we need multi-texture plugin okay you see it over here it is free you have to sign in to download it all right when you sign in you download it then you can apply your materials such as this okay so what you need to do is first of all let's create a material corona legacy material it does not really matter it was you know the way we normally do add one here let's reduce this to like 0.6 okay and then apply it apply it to the floor now we need to create a multi-texture material. So come over here. In fact, let, let's search for it. You can search for it. Search multi. Okay. Search multi-texture. This is it. Okay. Now you double click on it. It's going to bring out this. You click on manage texture and then add bitmap. Now let's go and find this thing where it is. Okay, so I'll just select all like so, then hit open. It might take a while, you know, to load all the maps. All right, so I'm gonna close this. Now, just for starters, let's just plug it in and see. Right off the bat, we have a very nice material to start with okay you can see that the maps are placed like here now you can see that this is a different map from this one this is a different map from that one none of them repeated it might repeat but not in front of this camera so it is giving this very nice effect but then we can do we can actually do more to this to achieve a lot okay to make it more realistic so how we do that is this okay first of all let's start by maybe so that this thing will be visible. Let's start by applying a color correction map to this. Okay. Reduce it a little bit. Reduce the saturation a little bit. As you can see. Uh, make it a little bit yellowish. Let's try making it darker a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. You can see the gap we added here. We're going to cover it up. All right. So to do that, or let's just leave that for now. Let's just focus and finish this thing. So the, the, the reflective gloss, we're going to do something about it. I'm going to duplicate this right here. I'm going to double click now i'm going to desaturate it totally okay and i'm going to pass it through output the output map all right i'm going to pass the output map to the reflective gloss now for us to see what we are doing we're going to select this material we're going to put zero here. That way the diffuse goes off. Now we can we are only seeing 
the reflective gloss map that we have applied. So we're going to tweak a little bit to get the reflection that we want. So I'm going to add a point here. Okay, I'm going to go back here and then select it and put it, set it to um, Bezier. Okay, you can see right click, you see the Bezier smooth. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to drag it. You can see the difference Let me, that it makes. So I'm going to take it up a little bit more. Uh, you can see the reflection is just, you know, coming out, you know, more, you know, just like we want it. So that's how you can, you know, create your reflective gloss map from, you know, your diffuse map. We're also going to do one more, you know, for our bump. Just going to duplicate this thing. Since we already desaturated it, let's just quickly like, but let's bring back our, our diffuse. Okay. So to add the bump, just drag this one to bump. It's a black and white map. It's going to add a, like a depth to the material. All right, so that's basically it for this material. Nothing so serious. You can see how easy it is. You can see how realistic it is becoming. So let me just go ahead and cover up this, you know, grout a little bit. All right. So I'll stop this. I will draw a plane. Just draw a plane. Like this. Okay. So now I'm going to put it in wireframe mode. I'm going to go to the side view. And I'm going to raise it up to this extent. You can see immediately you pass the line of the um of the of the bevel. You just drop it there. Let's go ahead and see what we've just done. Okay, you can see the plane that we just added, the way it is showing up. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to apply a material to it. We're going to apply a material to it that is going to blend with this wood material. Okay, that's the like the, the grout where the floor boards were joined. Okay. So I'm going to like use this same material that we have here. Just going to like duplicate it somewhere like so. Turn up this thing for a bit. Select all these and delete them. And I'm going to just apply it to it. Okay, as you can see, it is just white. But we don't we don't need it to be white. So to fix this the color issue, double click on it, select the color, use this pick to pick this dark part of the wood and then say okay now you can see the color is now blending well with the wood and everything is fine all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it mm, if you did please give us a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing not only subscribing ring the notification bell okay so you don't miss any of our future tutorial thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one